Hello my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be using warm or cool colors of tempered cakes to paint the sky. You are going to either choose warm or cool. That would be your reds, oranges, and yellows, or the other side of the tray, which is your green, blues, and purples. You can use purple a little bit on both sides because it can be a warm and cool color. Just make sure that you're using mostly one side of that paint tray. These are called temper cakes. They're sort of like watercolors. They need water to make them work. So you have to swirl around in the water and then swirl in the paint. The longer you dance around in the paint, the more colorful it will be. You're going to take your paintbrush and make big swipes across your paper in a sweeping motion. You wanna move from one side to the other, not missing any of the paper. You're going to be painting like highwaymen today, which they had to paint very, very fast to sell a lot of paintings. So today you're going to pretend that you are a Florida highwayman, but you're not going to sacrifice any of the quality of the work, meaning that you still have to do your best work, but do it pretty speedy. You can do this by painting big swipes across your paper in big motions. They were able to make their paintings look good and realistic because they blended their colors together in a way that looked really real. So they would take colors of the sunset like reds, oranges, and yellows and mix them together with these big swipes and swipes across their paper. When they were done, they made sure not to use too much water because they had to let it dry really fast. So today, make sure that you don't have a soaking wet paper. You only want to have enough water to make sure that your paint will work, but not too much because you're going to have to layer paint on top. You're going to have a foam brush that you can use to make clouds with white paint. This white paint is only going to be used for details in the sky. It can also only be used once your sky starts to dry a little bit. If it is too wet, this will not work. The foam brush is so that you can dab it instead of swiping it like your first motion. Then you're going to go back to your paintbrush to do the land. Now you're going to have a little cup of black paint that you can paint your horizon line. Your horizon line is where the land separates from the sky or maybe water separates from the sky. Now it's up to you where your painting takes place. Your landscape could either be in a river, it could be a lake, it could be the beach, it could be just the grass or a farm. That's totally up to you. If my painting is still wet, I can flip my paintbrush around using the back of it to swipe up quickly in directions facing up to make it look like grass. This grass could be representative of the marshland in Florida, which we have a lot of near the river and the lakes, or it could be seagrass near the beach and the dunes. It's totally up to you what you make. Either way, Florida has a lot of palm trees. So if we're painting like Florida highwaymen, you're going to want to paint some palm trees. I'm doing this with lots of curves. Once I attach those curves, if the paint is still wet, I can flip my paintbrush around, and this time I'm going to swipe down with that side of the paintbrush. I'm not using the brush side, I'm using the hard side of the paintbrush. Yeah, I'm painting with the back to create that texture into it. Now the reason I'm using black paint is because this is a silhouette. If it took place at sunset, you would only see a silhouette of the trees and the grass or the water or the land. It would look dark in comparison to the really bright sky. If your painting is sunrise and you're using cool colors, it would also look the same way. The trees and land would be a silhouette. This technique is really cool and will help you paint like Florida highwaymen really quickly, but still make sure that you're doing your best work, artist. You could also make other kinds of trees like oak trees, which have moss hanging down for them, which might look a little bit different. You might have to use some different textures or different kinds of lines to make those. Use too much black paint, you wouldn't want to cover up all your work. You'd have to be very careful about your sleeves and your hands, not to drag across the wet paint, especially as you're using the other side of your paintbrush. Be very mindful and wipe them on your apron if you need to or an art wipe. If you notice, I got a little bit of black paint in my sky. I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then put some white paint over it and I can turn it into a cloud again. Notice my technique only works if I paint this painting in the exact order. If I start with the sky with those temper cakes, warm or cool, then I do my clouds with my brush or my foam brush in the dabbing technique and then I do my black paint for the silhouettes or like the shadow of the 
palm trees and the horizon line. Well done, you could even flip over your paintbrush and sign your name in the black paint in the bottom right corner with the bottom of the brush if you wanted to try that technique to make texture. You could do it the same way that you're carving into the paint to carve your name into it. It would be a pretty cool addition. All right, artists, when you're all done, make sure that you put it on the drying rack and clean up. Have a great time.